He was one of the most celebrated and reclusive authors of the 20th century. Tonight, a photographer from Oregon is talking about his brief but surprising run-in with J.D. Salinger. The author of Catcher in the Rye is the subject of a revealing documentary premiering tonight in New York City. And a biography written by the movie's director came out on shelves today as well. The 19's Abby Gibb got the chance to talk with the photographer who snapped that picture of him only minutes before he hit the red carpet. Abby? Well, Laurel, I talked with 54-year-old Michael McDermott this afternoon while he was on the streets of New York. He has quite the illustrious career, publishing his first photograph by age 12. He held Secret Service credentials by the time he was 17. But it wasn't until he captured the picture at age 20 while working for Newsweek that will really cement him in history. This is the picture that launched a thousand questions. Where had J.D. Salinger, author of Catcher in the Rye, run off to? After a meteoric rise, it was a rare glimpse into the life of the reclusive author. And this is the man behind the camera. Then, 20-year-old Michael McDermott on assignment for Newsweek. It took a little bit of patience in 1979 to get the photograph of J.D. Salinger. But it proved to be a very rare and historic photograph. We talked to McDermott while he and his family were on the red carpet in New York. McDermott stars in the new documentary about the author, set to hit theaters Friday. It was 1979. I got an assignment from Newsweek magazine to photograph this author. He doesn't like to be photographed, but we do know he picks up his mail in Windsor, Vermont. And as it came back, ow. I got it. I got Salinger. No one in the news business had photographed him for a decade and a half when McDermott took that shot. It just came in today. But he also took a second picture that day on page 99 of a new biography called Salinger. What a mysterious person, too. We see a second shot of the author. Oh, wow. A picture worth an estimated $15,000. In his spare time, McDermott volunteers for the Portland nonprofit Friends of the Children, giving mentors to at-risk youth. This print will be auctioned off with all the proceeds going to the group. In Michael's words, he calls um, Friends of the Children um, a, a real-life catcher in the rye, um, really helping children. And in turn, Michael is really hoping to answer some of those thousand questions. McDermott is also selling more copies of the print on his website with a portion of the proceeds going to that nonprofit. We've got a link on our website. Also worth noting, though, according to the New York Times, this documentary will say that Salinger instructed his estate to publish at least five additional books, some of them entirely new, some extending past work, in a sequence that is intended to begin as early as 2015. The exciting stuff. Back to you, Joe. Very interesting, Abby. Thank you. One day after finishing her incredible feats,